one day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. Sister Kim Weston, the Black National Anthem. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. The rock was landed on us. Seldom has an athlete been more deserving of such a tribute. Your high standards of performance on the field and off the field reflect the finest qualities of competition, sportsmanship, and citizenship. The nation was bestowed upon you its highest award for your athletic achievements. It's a privilege for me to address you tonight as an outstanding American and as a worthy example of our youth. I salute you. President John F. Kennedy. Ernest Ernie Davis was an American football running back and the first African-American athlete to win the Heisman Trophy. Davis was born in New Salem, Pennsylvania and was raised by his grandparents until the age of 12, later on moving with his mother and stepfather to Elmira, New York. Throughout high school at Elmira Free Academy, Davis' talent on the football field became clear. He was named Elmira Player of the Year and High School All-American in both his junior and senior years. At a time when many universities were not offering scholarships to black athletes, colleges from around the country watched Davis' high school career closely, and more than 50 offered him scholarships. Davis played football for Syracuse University, twice winning first-time All-American honors. Davis was voted most valuable player of the 1960 Cotton Bowl and the 1961 Liberty Bowl. His junior year, he set a record of 7.8 yards per carry and was the third leading rusher in the country with 877 yards, having rushed 100 yards in six of nine games. Davis became the first black athlete to be awarded the Heisman Trophy following his 1961 senior year season at Syracuse University. President John F. Kennedy had followed Davis' career and requested to meet him while he was in New York to receive the trophy. Davis was a member of the Sigma Alpha Mu fraternity, a nationally recognized Jewish fraternity. Davis was the first African American to become part of the organization, not only as the Syracuse chapter, but for the national fraternity as a whole. Davis was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 1979. Davis was the number one pick in the 1962 NFL Draft becoming the first black football player to be taken first overall. Selected by Washington Redskins, but then traded to the Cleveland Browns. Davis signed a three-year, $200,000 contract with the Browns in late December 1961. It was the most lucrative contract for an NFL footy up at that time. Browns dream of pairing Davis with Jim Brown in the backfield took a tragic turn when Davis was diagnosed with leukemia during preparations for the 1962 college all-star game. Davis never played a game as a professional football player. In the summer of 1962, Davis was diagnosed with acute monocytic leukemia and began receiving medical treatment. The disease was incurable and he died in Cleveland Lexa Hospital May 18, 1963 at the age of 23. Both the House and the Senate of the United States Congress eulogized him. Davis is buried at Woodlawn Cemetery in Elmira, New York, in the same cemetery in which Mark Twain is buried. His commemorative statue stands in front of Ernie Davis Middle School, which Davis attended as Elmira Free Academy during his high school years. The building was named in his honor after, his conver after its conversion to a middle school. A motion picture biography, The Express, directed by Gary Fleeter, and based on the nonfiction book, The Amara Express, The Story of Ernie Davis by Robert C. Gallagher. The film was released on October the 10th, 2009.
2008.